Hi, and welcome to Ottawa English. I'm Angela. And today we're looking at Kale Speaking Task 3, where you're asked to describe and explain a visual. We'll be using this graph as our visual. It should be very interesting to anyone over in Alberta or British Columbia. You guys have had a really smoky summer. We'll be answering this question. The chart shows the wildfires in Canada between 2016 and 2023. Describe and explain the information. What conclusions can you draw? And creating a two-minute response that would score 70 plus. Stop the video for a moment and think about how you would describe this graph. Consider your introduction, your overview, two or three trends, and then a conclusion. Okay, so now this is the response that I've prepared. Stop the video again and read it. I hope it all makes sense to you. You can see that there's a very clear introduction that paraphrases the question. That's followed by an overview with its very high-level description. Remember that when you compose your overview, you need to pretend that you're on the other side of the room. From there, you can't see any details. We don't want any details at all in the overview. After the overview, there's the first trend with some supporting detail. Then the second trend with its supporting detail, and then the third trend with some supporting detail before we provide our concluding sentence. That basic structure provides you with a full score format. It also makes it much easier to identify what you're going to say. So keep this structure in mind when you practice. Another thing that contributes to a high score is your use of tenses. You can see in this sample answer that I've used the active present tense along with a couple of passive reductions. I've also used the active and passive forms of the simple past tense. It's quite important to use some passive voice because Kale is an academic test and your response here should be academic. The language of academia, of course, is passive. I have a couple of passive reductions too, and those contribute to my language efficiency score. The only other tense I've used in the past is the past perfect to show the sequence of two past actions. In other words, the fire that occurred before September 2022 and the spread that happened before mid-June in 2023. For my sentence variety, I have subordinating conjunctions and reference throughout my response, showing the examiner that I'm very comfortable with complex sentences. I also have some participles in conjunctive adverbs. And finally, to show my comfort manipulating structures, I've used a couple of possessives and correlating conjunctions and interruptions. It seems like pretty much everyone preparing for Kale struggles with speaking task three, just remember to keep practicing and that you're looking for trends or patterns to describe. Do get in touch if you need a little help, but in the meantime, best of luck with your preparation. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.